Bauman Moscow State Technical University is the best engineering school in Russia. From the moment of its establishment until now, BAMS2 has been working to increase and develop the scientific and technical potential of the state. Rich history and outstanding achievements of the past are a good start for hitting new heights of science and technology. Such great scientists and constructors as Shukhov, Tupolev, Suhoi, Misishev, Lavochkin, Tselikov, Dolizhan, Korolev, Pilugin, Varmin, and many others were students and professors of the university. Today, famous two graduates have leading positions in the realm of technology and innovation. Konstantin Kolesnikov was one of the world's best engineers of 2008. Today, he is one of the most outstanding theorists in the field of rocket calculations. Dmitry Grishin is Director General of Mail.ru and founder of the investment company Grishin Robotics. Lev Yevstratov has two Oscars for technical achievement. His invention is gyro stabilized camera, which allows filming at high speeds and getting high-quality image. In Hollywood, his invention is known as the Russian hand. The Russian method of craft training, which provided the basis for the entire system of engineering education in the United States, was developed and adopted here. Education through science, the combination of theory and practice. This is the reason why Bauman education is so successful. More than 20,000 students from Russia, China, France, Vietnam, Egypt, and more than 30 other countries come to study at BMSTU. BMSTU is the biggest and unique technical school of Russia. BMSTU has been at the top of the ratings of Russian Engineering University for many years. Bauman University is the national pride of Russia. Nowadays, BMSTU is also a national research university of technology. The fields of training cover almost the whole spectrum of modern mechanical engineering and instrumentation. The MSTU has eight scientific and educational centers. These are Fundamental Sciences, Informatics and Control Systems, Manufacturing Technologies, Radioelectronics, Laser and Biomedical Technology, Robotics and Complex Automation, Special Machinery, Power Engineering, Engineering Business and Management. The biggest projects within the framework of this research university are related to the establishment of the interdisciplinary engineering centers aimed at conducting research in the important fields of science and technology. The centers of ion and plasma technology, photonics and infrared technology, new materials, composites and nanotechnology are already open. The Center of Photonics and Infrared Technology was specially honored. Dmitry Medvedev, President of the Russian Federation, opened it in April 2012.
These centers are headed by the top Russian and international scientists. For example, Gregor Morfil, a German scientist, director of Max Planck Institute of Extraterrestrial Physics, runs the Center of AIM and Plasma Technologies. One of the scientists in charge of the Center of Photonics and Infrared Technology is Vladislav Pustovoid, academician of the Russian Academy of Sciences, perspective sections of optical acoustic and laser interferometry will be developed under his leadership. The laboratory of Terragers Optical Technology is headed by Viktor Rizhi, a prominent scientist in semiconductor structures. Currently, he is a researcher of the University of Aizu, Japan. Today, technological centers are created in cooperation with enterprises and research institutions. More than 320 doctors and 2,000 PhDs are involved in educational and scientific activity of the university. More than 100 of them are winners of state prizes. More than 40 were awarded with the prize of the President of the Russian Federation. Famous TU is also known as the best space university in Russia. Legendary Sergei Korolev, father of practical cosmonautics and an outstanding rocket constructor, was a professor of the Department of Rocketry established in 1948. As a result of his work, the first satellite of the Earth was launched and Yuri Gagarin became the first man to fly into space. Such famous pilots and cosmonauts as Feoktistov, Makarov, Strykalov, Yeliseev, Alexandrov, Lavekin, Balandin, Kondakova, Skripochka and Solovyov studied at Bayemus TU. Bayemus TU Youth Space Center has been working for more than 20 years. Its objectives include providing initial aerospace education for school students, training young specialists in the field of rocket and spacecraft engineering, developing and enhancing cooperation with the similar centers in other countries. In the near future, the satellite Baumanitz 2, designed by Bayemus TU students, will be launched to the orbit of the Earth. Bayemus TU cooperates with more than 70 leading engineering schools of the world. Exchange programs imply joint training of students from Russia, Asia, Africa and America. Nuclear reactors and plants is a field of Bayemus TU special focus. The Department of Power Engineering was founded in 1961 by Nikolai Dolizhal, the father of the first nuclear power plant in the world. In 2010, Bayemus became a co-founder of Skolkova. It was a milestone event for the university. The cooperation is carried out in such priority fields as radioelectronics, biomedicine, high energy physics, transportation of energy resources, nuclear energy, space. Several enterprises created on the basis of Bayemus TU are the residents of the foundation. Bayemus TU students have an opportunity to study at Skolkova Open University at the same time. Bayemus TU role in the development of the defense industry of the state is significant. Several defense departments were established since 1938. Tank, artillery and ammunition departments. The university is engaged 
in the development of new systems for combat vehicles, aviation and special units. The Russian system anti-sniper saved the life of Hugo Chavez, president of Venezuela. Such news headlines told the world about another successful development of Russian scientists and BAMU students in February 2012. The system allows to detect any disguised optical device and save a human life. This is Night Hunter, a military helicopter of the Russian army. Famous two professors and students developed special night vision goggles for the pilots of these flying machines. So that he could fulfill their missions, even at night, they also developed special sighting devices, enabling the pilot to destroy it, weapon emplacements of the enemy at long distances. For ultra-modern K-50 helicopters, known as Black Shark. Today our combat vehicles have no equals in the world, considering their technical and military specifications. They must do contributions to the development and production of modern weapons is inestimable. Such systems as Iskander, Topol M, C300, C400 are known all over the world. The MS2 students are a special community of people devoted to science, technology and their alma mater, 